Welcome back to Overland Florida everybody, I'm Kevin, Jillian is behind the camera, and today we're going to be installing a 3 inch mattress topper in our camper. Um, we used to have a full size bed, but now that we have two dogs we had to expand it, so now we have a king size bed, and we don't really have a mattress for it, or a mattress topper, so we're going to piece together a mattress, and then we're going to put this on top of it as a mattress topper. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and inside, inside and measure for our base mattress, and then uh, we're going to open up this box, we're going to install this 3 inch mattress topper, and we're gonna see how much more comfortable it is than our old sleeping arrangements. So this right here with the mattress on it, this was our old sleeping arrangement. So it would be Jillian and I, and then Goose would either be sleeping in between us or Goose would sleep on the floor over there. But now that we have two dogs and we're planning on going on extended road trips um, up to 30 days now. So uh, we really need our sleep for all that driving we're gonna do. We just went to New Hampshire and one way it was 30 hours of driving with all the stops for dogs and bathroom breaks and such like that. Um, so we need room to just sprawl out and fall asleep. So we now added another sheet of plywood with a cutout around the refrigerator. And that way the dogs can sleep over there and then essentially we'll sleep over here and be more comfortable. It doesn't work out like that. Um, We've woken up in the middle of the night and like I'm sleeping over there, Jillian's over there and the dogs have this whole side of the bed over here. So um, more room doesn't always mean you're gonna be more comfortable, but um, in the uh, big picture, we do need to just ex extend our bed. So now we have storage underneath it and um, going all the way from the rear door all the way to the refrigerator, that's gonna be the equivalent of a king size bed. So we're going to fill in on that piece of plywood right there to level it out. And then we're gonna put the king size um, mattress topper on top of that. So that's the goal for today. And uh, let's get to it because it's hot. It's only probably like 9.30 in the morning and I think it's probably already like 98 degrees with like 120% humidity. Yeah. Got a little card. Warranty card. Oh, watch out for that puppy dogs. So luckily it came in a vacuum sealed bag so we didn't have to try to fight it and put it into a taco and shove it in the door like I've done previous campers. Um, like I said, this one is packaged really well. Um, we'll go ahead and open this up, let it expand, turn it to uh, whatever direction we need it to go. And um, we'll have to wait because it's gonna have to slowly just probably fill up to that three inch um, material. So just rolling it out, it seems like it's gonna be almost the perfect length from the rear door all the way to the refrigerator right there. Um, now I just need to rip open this cover because it's actually folded in half so it's gonna it's gonna be folded over and come out equally this size so I think it's actually gonna be the perfect size king mattress for this six by eight runaway camper. <laughs> it's expanding a lot faster than I thought it was going to. So just to clarify, this is an RV king, not like a full like house king bed. Um, so I believe, I think Jillian says about eight inch difference. So uh, as you can see, this mattress fits perfect. So um, it goes from wall to wall, from the back all the way to the refrigerator, which is exactly what we wanted. It does seem pretty unlevel and that's because we have to um, cut another little mattress to fill in that spot up there in front of the, uh, the refrigerator. Um, so once we do that, the bed will be perfectly even. And we have this ridge in the middle, that's because it's been probably sitting in a warehouse in China or something for probably a whole year. So um, we just gotta let it settle down, put something heavy right here in the middle, and it should even out and be nice and flat. But it is, it almost feels like there's gel in it, but there's not. It, it's really comfortable, it's, how, it's hard to say. But um, at first at first touch and we laid on it, uh, it was super comfortable. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, when you get older, there's just nothing more important than just getting a nice night's uh, sleep, especially when you're traveling and driving 13 hours a day to get somewhere. Um, but we'll go ahead and uh, cut the uh, foam section for the front. That way we'll get it all leveled up and then we'll bring you guys back. Guess I can just cut it. So Maggie approves the new mattress. We all came in here and took a nap because just like any other summer afternoon, we did have a little rainstorm. But we want to show you the underneath. On all four corners, it does have this strap to strap it down to a bed. Um, there's a zipper so you can take the cover off. 
but under that is another zipper. So there's actually two covers and we think there might be a little gel mattress, a little gel in there. Then we have another little cover right there. So there's definitely a few layers in there and it's really comfortable so far. And uh, we went ahead, we cut the blue uh, other topper to fill in the void right here. So now when we pull the mattress down, the entire thing is all one level. So looking in from the back of the camper, there's so much room. As you can see, Maggie, everyone's laying in there pretty comfortably. We're fortunate that we can lay any direction we want. So, you know, if we wake up in the morning, in the middle of the night, and the dogs are laying on top of us, you know, we can position them or position ourselves so that we can basically just lay any direction, which makes it that much more enjoyable to sleep. So from the back of the camper, all the way to the refrigerator behind Jillian is uh, 74 inches. And from door to door, sorry, on the other side of Goose, over there, that's 70 inches. So 70 by 74 is the size of this mattress. And it says three inches thick, but it almost seems a little thicker than that. It's nice that it has two covers. Um, let's see. I mean, yeah, I guess it maybe just a little over three, but it does not feel like a thin three layer or three inch mattress when you're laying on top of it. So far, we haven't found any dislikes with this mattress. We do like that it has multiple covers, so we can take this off, put it in the washing machine. It is washing machine safe. Um, it is really soft, and man, it's, like I said, we came in here earlier when it was raining, I took a nap in the air conditioning, and uh, really comfortable. They do have two versions of the mattress. This is a soft one, they do have a firm one, so you can choose whichever one you like. Um, they have all different sizes of RV mattresses, and they also have regular bed size mattresses. So. Um, there will be a link in the description. There will also be a code, a little coupon for 30% off, which is really big. Um, this mattress right here was going for $199. This is the king size soft RV mattress. And like I said, uh, we cannot wait to start going on some of our long extended road trips and be able to sleep on this thing. And it just, it's so much nicer. You saw how small our bed was to begin with. Now we've not quite doubled it, but like I said, we're so excited now that we have two dogs to be able to just sprawl out in here and uh, go to sleep. So like I said, if you guys want any information, there'll be a link in the description below and there'll also be a coupon code. So use both of those together. Thank you for watching.